seem strange that something like hand sanitizer or soap can just simply kill the coronavirus. So how do these cleaners wipe out the threat? And, well, it's still sort of hard to find it some is, of these. It is, especially the wipes there. So uh, what alternatives work? Right. Uh, so it, this is a super easy virus to kill. Basically, it just sort of takes soap, any kind of soap, doesn't even have to be antibacterial soap, of course, uh, is going to take out the proteins in this virus. And alcohol kind of works, the, the alcohol, the stuff same that's idea. in the hand sanitizer, yeah. that kind of works the same way. Um, so that's with your, with your hands. So right. really, like, if you're having a hard time finding the hand disinfectant, it, it, you know, a lot of the experts say it's better to, to so wash Just use soap. Anyway. Yeah, just yeah use soap. I think soap and water, right. uh, sometimes it's underestimated how powerful that is, right. but it's just the friction and the soap, like, it works. Yeah, and then what happens, why they like the um, washing your hands better than the sanitizer, is that then all the virus that was killed on your hands then just kind of disappears down the sink. Got it. Yeah. All right, so that's for on your hands. Right. And your person uh, but so some people are worried about the disinfectants and right. that sort of thing uh, wipes are hard to find they are and they start to find and the companies say that they're going to be hard to find until at least June mm. um, because it is a little more challenging to make those wipes and the demand for these cleaners has been through the roof so if you've been trying to find some of this stuff recently it can still be hard to find the EPA does have a list of registered approved disinfectants yeah. you can find that online well I've looked at that list it's not the easiest thing to navigate it's not you know. but you can look up and see okay this Lysol brand or this right. Clorox brand you can look up and see what it is that you are buying on there right. um, if you're that worried about it which some people are which some people are maybe um, uh, right. you might want to just take matters into your own hands and, and make something and th so there you go to bleach and bleach for a while Very that was kind of hard to yeah sure. it was also kind of hard to what find about too. like gasoline just pour uh, that would, all over everything and see advise, if that works would not okay. advise that nope bleach though bleach, don't no. do straight bleach no, no, yeah, sure, don't do that. So here's what the CDC says. It's a handy little recipe for you, Jason. Mm -hmm. okay. Dilute the bleach with water, of course. So you sure. take a third of a cup of, wa of, bleach of bleach to the gallon of water. Got it. And make sure that you wipe up any messes first because what bleach does, unlike the alcohol and the soap, bleach just kills everything in its sight, sure. everything that's living. So if you have a table that has some food on it, clean up the food then put this bleach on there, the bleach okay. diluted mixture on there to kind of clean, clean everything up there. This is really, it, this is a main concern if you have coronavirus. Correct. In your house, if there's someone in your home yes. that has COVID-19, then this is important for you. Good. Right. Yeah. The mm -hmm. rest of us, just you're, normal just hygiene. Just clean up is, and you're, yeah. you're probably fine. Very good. Yep. All right, good stuff. I mm -hmm. actually make my own home cleaners. I know so, that you do. You know, so. Just joking uh, a little bit.